Coming up on Pick a Puppy. The Dyer family is looking for a service dog for their son who is living with autism. everyone, I'm Beverly Mahood, and on today's Pick a Puppy, we're meeting with the Dyer family. They have seven children, and three of them have autism. The Dyers are looking for a service dog for their son, David. Now, Randy and Karen are considering three breeds today, the standard Poodle, Doodle, and Collie. So let's see which one of these puppies are the right fit for David and his family. Well, we're the Dyer family. I'm Randy, this is my wife, Karen. We have seven children, aging from 13 to three years old. Three have autism. It was very overwhelming for me personally. And I mean, I thought that we had these children who were perfectly normal. They were healthy when they were born. And suddenly we were told that they had some serious neurological disorders. It's not our job to decide the potential of any of our children. Mm -hmm. That potential is already in there. Our job is to, is to help discover it and guide it. Karen and Randy, thank you so much for inviting me into your home. Could you tell me a little bit about you, a little about the kids, a little bit about what kind of puppy you're looking for? Well, we, we need a puppy for David. David is a seven-year-old boy, and he's living with autism. And his biggest issues are transition. So he has troubles transitioning from event to event or from place to place. And a dog would help him uh, socially. It would help keep him calm. It would be non-judgmental, mm -hmm. and it would help him be um, consistent and help him move consistently from event to event. Now you have other dogs. We do. We have a golden doodle who's currently uh, working with Gracie as a service dog, so he'll be going to school with her in the fall. We have another dog, Cooper. He's a golden yeah. retriever, and he's going to be in the program as well. And then we have a grumpy black dog, Tag, who's just grumpy, and a little chihuahua, Prince. Yeah. Yes, he bites me. He, does he bite you? You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're looking for the perfect puppy for David, is there any breed that you're looking at in particular, and is there a different breed that you're going to look at? We're looking at um, standard poodle. Standard poodle, golden doodle. Golden doodles. And collie. OK, so that's a new one. Yeah, we don't know a lot about collies. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's going to be really interesting to yeah. talk to the breeders and, and get some history. And we understand that all these breeders have dogs that are service dogs at, at some level of training or in the field. Mm -hmm. So obviously, collies are doing that too. So it'll be uh, educational for us to yeah, find so out what the collie does. some yeah. investigation. So we're really hoping that David and a puppy are going to connect and that we can just build on that friendship. Well, we wish you the best of luck, David. Thank are you. you excited about looking for a puppy? Yes? <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to let you guys go off and do that, and I'm going to check in with you later on, and we'll see what happens. That's great. First up, the Dyers will be visiting Diane and Peter of Cantope Standard Poodles to look at their latest litter. The Standard Poodles are believed to have originated in Germany and are retrievers. They are the smartest dogs and easy to train and eager to please. Typical standard poodle personality is a dog that loves everyone. They're up for anything. They'll do whatever you want to do. You want to be a couch potato, they'll be a couch potato. You want to go skiing, they're right beside you. Hello, welcome to Canto. Thank you, I'm, I'm Karen. Karen. Nice to meet you, Karen. Thank you, that's Joseph. Hi, that's Joseph. Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Oh, Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, no, Hi David. She's Maggie. Maggie, nice to meet you. Hi, oh, I get a hug. Oh, oh boy. Are hey, you my grandma? Uh, I'm somebody's grandma, in. but not yours. How would you guys like to come in and we'll get organized so you Hi, can Randy, meet I'm some Diane. puppies? Hi. When we were new to breeding standard poodles and we were looking for families to take our puppies, we found that there were quite a few families out there with special needs. How can we help you? Uh, I looked at your website. We're pretty excited about looking at poodles. Our one dog that's just finished being uh, certified as a service dog is a Golden Doodle. Now, what kind of temperament would best suit David? I want a spotted one. <laughs> he wants a spotted one. <laughs> we want a dog to um, go to the community David? with David no from one event to another. We want a calm want puppy. We want a puppy home. that um, wants all of can David's affection, that home. can accept all of David's affection. Um, David is a very loving child, and he gets very focused, so we're hoping that the dog is going to 
help round out his personality that much more. Okay, so you want a cuddly puppy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Could I ask okay, your we're, help to we're get show Max first? Max first. This is just an adult to give you a sense of where the okay. temperament is. Uh. Oh. Hi, Max. Oh. Come here, Max. Hey. Now, obviously, Hello. Max hasn't met any of you before, but he's happy to greet everybody. He is. Hi. Oh, he's so soft. He's bigger than I thought he would be. And how old is Max? Max is four. Picking a puppy is allowing the puppy to pick you. And we really like the people to sit down on the floor and let two or three puppies interact with them. And uh, invariably, one or one of them will climb up on the lap and just say, you're mine. Puppy, 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 puppy. What are you guys most excited about? To hold him. Oh, yeah? yeah. And feel how soft his fur is. Oh. oh, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Look at these little puppies. Yay! Put one in David's arm. Now sit down, David. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. You sit down. You can hold the puppy. <laughs> these are the seven. Now, these are seven pups. weeks old. So this is the boy. Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Oh, can I keep it? Can I keep it, Dan? Please. Oh, he's giving you kisses. You'll see. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> I want to keep him. His name is number five. Oh, that's his name, number five? Oh, yeah, number five's on his collar. No, I want number five. They're pretty partial to kids. David, what's your favorite puppy from here? Number five. Now, what are you going to name him? David, I think David really seemed to connect Love with him. the... Uh, Number five. I think so too. And that's really important if he's going to work with David and if he's going to be something that's going to comfort David when he's having difficulty transitioning. That David have that relationship with this dog. I think it was definitely there. And that's very important in our situation. Yeah. I mean, it, they, they has to bond with David. And, he uh, loved him. Well, thank you very much. You're very well. We had a really great time. Your puppies are beautiful. Thank I you. love them. <laughs> I can see why everybody has fallen in love with these dogs. So cute, and I love the curly hair. Oh, oh you're gorgeous. He's like, I don't know. Oh, he likes you. He likes you. Oh, he likes me. Good boy. <laughs>
you, does he come, come over here? Me. Let's see. Can I walk Let's, her? Yes, you can. But let's see what she wants to say to David. Do you want to say hi to David? Do you want to say hi to everybody? It's a, it's a girl. Bertina. Hi, Bertina. Me. Did, what's that? Oh, oh, you're gorgeous. He's like, I don't love you. Oh. Do, you like, do you like that dog? Do you like Bertina? She's cute, eh? Do you like that black dog? David, here comes the boy. Oh, look at this one coming. Hi, Charlie. Yes, Hi, Charlie. Charlie. No jumping, Charlie. No jumping, Charlie. Here, sit down here. Pat He's Charlie. going to be similar to... Um, the grandfather. Oh, he likes you. He likes you. Oh, he likes me. Good boy. The boy dog? Yeah. Yeah. Sleep with me. There. You want Charlie to sleep with you? What would number five? There, she's got a puppy on her Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, our challenge was trying to figure out whether he liked number five better. The, the standard poodle, or whether he only liked him more because that was the puppy he saw first. And because of his obsessive compulsiveness, that can happen. You want to say goodbye to Charlie? Bye, Bye Charlie. Oh. Atta boy. Goodbye. It seemed that the dog, Charlie, was choosing them, and David really bonded with the dog, and to the point that when it was time to leave, he was really upset that he didn't get to take Charlie home. David got a little upset had difficulty leaving, had difficulty making that break again in his own mind that it was time to leave this event behind and, and go on to the next one. I don't want to leave. You don't want to leave? Look at the puppy wonders why you're so sad. Um, that's, you know, that's why he needs a dog. A dog would be able to help him with that process. I wonder what puppy David likes best now. Well, the Dyers, they have some hard choices to make. So far, all the dogs, they have been fantastic, but they have to visit one more litter of puppies, and that's the Collies, and I can hardly wait. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's going to be your best friend? Yeah. <gasps> can you give him a kiss? Welcome back everyone to Pick a Puppy. So far we have visited the Standard Poodle and the Doodle. They are both fantastic family dogs and David seems to be really connected with both of them. The Dyer family's final stop will be to visit Joanna Thistlebray Collies to look at her adorable litter of, yes you guessed it, the Collies. Now the Collie was originally used as herders and made wonderful additions to any family. I've been having a breeding program with rough and smooth collies for about uh, 10 years now and uh, they're my pride and joy. This is one of my beautiful little puppies that is nine weeks old now. So hi. great to meet you. you as well. Finally, yeah. Hi, hi. how do you hi. do? Hi, Randy. Collies are really nice dogs. You know, as a general rule, they're good with uh, families and kids. They seem to this, take towards uh, the families very well. They're what uh, we consider a herding breed and those breeds were bred to work with people. So as a general rule, they're pretty biddable. Maybe they can hurt all the kids when it's dinner time. Yeah, that would work. That would work. <laughs> the only concerns that I would have about collies, because I don't know much about them, is their barking. Uh, well, sometimes they can be barky, but they, they're, it's not a day-to-day -day thing. It's more often going to occur if they see someone they don't know or if it happens that, uh, you know, there's a stranger around. What's the temperament of the collie? That's a big part of... Uh... Of like course, for service, absolutely. For service dogs, yeah. they have to be so calm. They're an uh, easygoing, uh, outgoing dog that are usually friendly with uh, people and other animals, which is important too. The collies are being used much more extensively as service dogs now. Um, their even temperament, their ability to cope in stressful situations makes them ideal for this particular uh, aspect of, of service work. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at these puppies, David. Oh. Let's see if we can... David, you want to hang on to this little puppy? Oh, you got to oh. hold him snug. Look at it. This is a That's boy. That's a boy. Oh. 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 Can I keep him? Oh, he's cute. <gasps> I'm very surprised. I, I mean, I've been looking up collies on Google ever since I knew that we were coming here to look at them, but I didn't think I liked them very much. They're absolutely gorgeous dogs. How big would uh, he, be, he get? Uh, the males, 
they get to be a good size, about 24, 25 inches high, about 70, 80 pounds at the, wow, at the high size. end. Yep, yep. So once they're uh, grown, they, they can take a lot of abuse. Yeah. <laughs> they're not delicate. A dog for us has to be able to work with David in the sense that uh, when David has his outbursts in that, mm -hmm. that the dog can be very calm through that. Yeah. It has to fit in with all the other dogs in our house because yeah. we have, again, we have several dogs. And so it has to be able to, to mesh with a group of dogs and mesh with a group of people. And when it's not acting as a service dog, it's a, it, it plays the role of a pet as well. This one likes me. Yeah, he likes you, eh? What would you name him? How about Ben 10? Ben 10? So Ben. Ben 10? I am Ben 10. Well, his daddy was high five, so Ben 10 <laughs> would be just perfect. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look That's at him. He's so kid, calm. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the way that dog was all over him? They were just so snuggly. Yeah. I mean, I can see, I can really see David and this collie building a relationship and a friendship that will just last a lifetime. What do you like about Ben 10? Fuzzy. He's fuzzy and he runs around. Yeah. Aw. Do you think he's going to be your best friend? Yeah. Oh, can you give him a kiss? Oh, it is cold. There seemed to be a great connection between the uh, the kids and especially the young fellow who's looking for a pup. Oh. Oh. I'm very, very, very impressed with this puppy. That's okay. I like puppy. Very, very, very impressed. For me, when I saw him lay on him and put his face right against David's and just sit there and so yeah. calm in that, I looked at that and thought, this is a really good companion. This isn't going to be an easy decision. No, no, it's not. Well, that was a big surprise. David and his mom loved the collie. That puppy was just so relaxed. The Dyer family, yes, they have some big decisions to make, but don't worry, we'll find out what puppy they picked and why after the break. David's been away at camp. We have the dog here in our large home, and the other kids know that we want to surprise David. Welcome back everyone to Pick a Puppy. The Dyer family have been looking for the perfect puppy to be a service dog for their son David. They have visited so far three great breeders and looked at the standard poodle, the doodle, and the collie. So what puppy are they going to choose? Let's find out. So first we went to the to the poodle breeders and the kids all played with them and David oh. played with them, etc. Swarmed them. The one puppy really seemed to David, I think David really seemed to connect Loved with them. the uh, Number five, you know, we we're really impressed with that, uh, with that kennel. It was a really good start. We really enjoyed it. It was. So we went and took a look at the golden doodles, and um, we have a golden doodle who's gold, and uh, so that was a bit of a surprise. Yeah. But it was a pleasant surprise. They're gorgeous dogs. Yeah. They're really, really pretty puppies. Yeah, they are. The next breeder that we go to look at are collie breeders. I was very surprised at how much I loved these collies. They were gorgeous. They were really sweet, and the one Ben Ten. Um, really bonded well with David. David's been away at camp. Yeah. We have the dog here in our large home, and the other kids know that we want to surprise David, so we've kept it a secret. I don't know how much longer we can keep it a secret. And today we're going to surprise him. To yeah, today's it. first sight over there, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Now, can you guys tell me anything about this store called PetSmart? Oh, love it. You get to take your dogs there. They got great a great selection great of stuff. Selection. They have given you guys a gift them. card. All right. This well, is for you guys. Day. That's great. We don't so have So can much I give you this? <laughs> you hold on to that? You can take Buzz to the store. Take you can Buzz take him with you. Take Buzz to the store and go shopping. I'm so glad that we found David the, the perfect best day puppy. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need to know. That's right. That's perfect. Best day ever. Should we play? Let's go get him. Let's get him. Come on. Go get him! 
This was totally the right decision. This was absolutely yeah. the right dog for David. Yeah, and his reaction showed that. Stop it! He loves the dog. A lot of pluses. I mean, first off, it's one of the more inte most intelligent dogs, apparently. Uh, one of the easiest to train, and yet, yeah. and at the same time, has a great temperament, but connected with David really well, and David really connected with number five. This dog will fit, fit. very well in our family. It's, like, it's always been here. It's, it's going to be a great relationship. It's going to be yeah. a great friendship. I'm looking forward to it. Go get it, Buzz! Go get it! He's good! Yeah. That's amazing! I'm sorry. Oh, he loves you. He's a sandbox. He likes to play in the sandbox. Oh, yeah. I love you. I really loved this story. This little puppy will grow up with David, love him, be his best friend, and help him live up to his potential. And how cool is that? Thanks so much for watching another episode of Pick a Puppy. Special thanks to all our breeders and to the Dyer family for letting us be a part of their lives. To find out more about the show or how to be on it, just visit us at cmt.ca or check us out on Facebook. We love all your pictures, videos, stories with you and your puppies, so just keep them coming. And until next time, I'm Beverly Mahood. Hi, we're the Dyer family. And we love our big puppy. Buzz, thank you, CMT. And everything's going great. Thank you, Dad, for the new puppy for Dad.